Huntech Pro is proudly brought to you by Wildebees, Magnum Archery, Orpen Weapons, Oberholzer Taxidermy, No Scent, Nat Shoot, and Gunrats. The bush pig is a strong, stocky pig with powerful forequarters. Its upper tusks are barely visible, but the lower tusks are razor sharp and grow up to 16 centimeters in length. It is very dangerous when surprised in the bush or wounded during hunting, it can inflict serious wounds with the sharp, protruding tusks. An adult boar measures up 900 millimeters at the shoulder and can weigh as much as 80 kilograms. Bush pigs are described as mainly nocturnal and territorial land creatures. Their territorial nature means that they can also be very aggressive to each other and to other animals. The aggression is usually seen when they have to protect their area or when they have to protect the younger bush pigs. The mountain areas of the Limpopo province in South Africa is the premier destination in the world to hunt the bush pig. Hi and welcome to a very special episode of Huntic. You know, with all the hunting we've been doing, I just felt this is a, the hunt that I really want to share with everybody. Bush pig hunting is one of the most rewarding hunts you can go on. Especially if you know of all the time and effort you have to put into the hunt to get the animals onto the feet, keeping them there, all the preparation work that goes into it. So I felt it's, it's time to share this with you guys. So the first thing you have to look for is, is an area where the bush pigs are active in. And how we found this certain area where we are now, um, we found a lot of scat in the area. I then went into the bush and followed, fo followed their path. And I found it a close, close by area right next to the road. So every day when I pass this area, I can quickly check the bait, put up the camera. And um, now let me quickly show you what we've done here already. So I planted a pole right here so you guys can see this is where I can mount my Bushnell camera easily to and it will be approximately 10 meters away from where the bush pig will be eating. The bait that we are using is macadamia nuts. We found this is the best bait to use in the area that we live in. I've used millies, I've used guts but the best thing that works here is macadamia nuts. Like you guys can see here is all the crushed macadamia nuts from the previous season still left here. So what happens, they, they bite that whole nut with a shelf and you can hear that loud noise they make with it. So when you're sitting in the blind, you can easily hear when they're active on, on the bait. It gives you time to, to get calm, it gives you time to get ready. So I've got a 20 liter bucket here filled about halfway with macadamia nuts. So that's roughly about you know, 10 liters, 10 kgs. And what I'll do is I'll just throw it here. And the reason why I only throw out this little, if I throw out a heap of feed here, the bush pig will come in, eat, eat a lot, and stay away maybe for two or three nights because they know there's still lots of food left. What I've learned, if I put out this amount, they keep on coming back every single night. So this is a way that I found that is more effective for us. It's really important to get your angle right of the camera. Um, what's really nice about this Bushnell Core DS, it's got a setup function. So when you put the switch on setup, it shows you your angle and uh, that I can see the feed. 
So everything is ready with the camera. So I'm going to flip it to on. It's going to count a few seconds. And then it's ready to check what we will have on bait here tonight. So it looks like a nice young boar that hit the bait last night. Uh, so what we've seen in the past is when the young boars normally come first to the, the bait, the other bush pigs smell them and they bring in the bigger boars. So Bula really wants to shoot a mature boar. It's been, uh, been a while since she had the chance to shoot one. Yeah, my first animal I ever hunted was a bush pig sow. So I've been trying for, for three years now. I have a successful hunt on a bush pig boar, mature one. So hopefully this year will be my year to harvest a beautiful boar. Like Johan said, this, this one that we saw on the camera last night was still a young bush pig. So I would like to hunt a nice trophy. Yeah, so um, we're going to do the best. So now we, we're we going to really be focusing on um, the trail cams photo, photos every two or three nights we'll put up the trail cam to see what we'll, we have on on the bait. Huntech Pro is proudly sponsored by Ultimo Group, Trigger Cam, Helber Rifles Bullets and Innovations, Glow Tech Energy, Elroy Water, Biltong Supply Company, Madeley Skeepers Optometrist, Grizzly Gear, Bebs, SSG Cases, Seek Thermal, and Nightsight. Huntech Pro's proud media partner is Game and Hunt Magazine. A deer's nose is 1,000 times more powerful than the human nose. That means he will smell you way before you ever see him. No Scent is a three-phase scent elimination system that destroys 100% of human odor. Our revolutionary enzyme formula works by fully encapsulating and by attacking and eliminating human odor particles. Our No Scent laundry pods, hair and body wash, and field spray will take 100% of the stink out of you. No Scent. Hunt undetected. To make the big shots, you've got to be ready in tough spots. The new Trigger Stick Gen 3 makes it faster than ever to shoot steadier than ever. With one hand trigger adjustments, a new quick detach yoke for fast switches from optics to gun, and new locking leg angles for full adjustments in any terrain. Be more than rock steady, be shock steady. The new Trigger Stick Gen 3, only from Primos. So I'm on my way to quickly go check my bush pig bait. <coughs> uh, we started a new area last year during the COVID and um, we haven't hunted a lot. We're trying to keep the big pigs alive. So yeah, I'm on my way to check it. We live on a farm, a macadamia and avocado farm. So we have access to a lot of pigs coming in at night <coughs> to the farm orchards. They feed during most of the night they're nocturnal animals and then they leave early morning sometimes you get lucky like I, in the previous years I had pigs feeding early morning sunlight still in the orchards so yeah the area that I chose is high up in the mountain and um, the pigs like to walk on high elevations going down into the orchards they call this the poor man's leopard for a reason and the pigs are very very clever especially a large boar So we're at the bait site. As you can see, the pigs are 
fierceless feet in here. You can see all this like macadamia has been cut into pieces. So I like to put it in a line so the pigs and the porcupines don't always compete. Um, so the pigs can stand on one side and the porcupines on the other side. As you can see the line that I put the bait out. And then the pigs they enter from the top. Coming through that area there. And I've seen photos where they entered from the side there as well. My first bush pig I shot was in 2014. It was also the first animal that I've ever harvested. Since then, it's become a yearly tradition for us to hunt bush pig when the season arrives. After the sow I shot, I really wanted to hunt a nice boar as well. So this year was the first real opportunity I got to go sit for a boar. The previous years we were unsuccessful. Some nights we didn't sit long enough, other nights the wind played a factor. The Primos Club XL pop-up blind from Ultima Group must be one of the most easiest pop-ups to set up. We have used a few pop-up blinds over the years and not one of them has come close to the Primos Club XL pop-up blind. You see how easy that was? Yeah, and that's why we love this pop-up blind so much. It's easy and quick to set up and the best of all, it blocks your scent inside. So. It's real secure, it's easy to set up, it's easy to take down again as well. So the evening of my hunt started out with Johan and I getting everything ready and settling in for the hunt inside the blind. What I love about bush pig hunting is when you sit there and you listen to all the night sounds and all the critters walk, walking around at night. So this is it, every evening of feeding and checking the bait and checking the trail cam all led up to this moment. I hope that I can get this bush pick tonight. This is the third year I'm trying for a ball and yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah, I've got all my confidence in Beulah that she'll put in the perfect shot. Now the bush pick must just come in like they always came in. So let's go sit in the hide and see what's going to happen. We sat for about an hour, waiting patiently and listening for that first grunt out in the dark. The next moment we heard a loud noise of nuts being crushed and cracked and I quickly turned on the night side to see what was going on at the bait side. To my surprise, the boar I was looking for stood there out in the open, minding his business and eating. You remember where I told you to aim? Just right above the eye. So do I have to wait for him to turn um, straight forward or can I take him above his eye? If he's a little bit quartering, on, you can take it, if you feel comfortable with that shot. Okay. 
both of us started to shake from all the adrenaline that was pumping. And it only got worse as I kept the boy in my sights, waiting for the opportune moment to take the shot. I was in shock after the ball went down. I just couldn't believe that after so many failed attempts, we finally got the ball that we worked so hard to get. <laughs> I got him. I got him. He's kicking a little bit, but I think you guys gave him a good shot. Oh, it's my first push big ball. <laughs> you had to wait three years for this moment. Bushbeck hunting, perseverance, commitment and patience is key. And it just goes to show, when you put in the time and effort, it really pays off. Oberholzer Taxidermy strives to portray your hunting trophies in as realistic a state as possible. We give you a trophy that you aren't simply proud of or would like to add to your collection, but also your very own prized piece of Africa along with fond memories of our land. Hunting is an incredibly rewarding sport. Complement your prize with professional taxidermy services at Oberholzer Taxidermy. At Orpin Weapons we have a dedicated team of professionals that are extremely passionate about firearms. We specialize in custom rifle building, accurizing, customization, repair and general sales of firearms and their related accessories. Each firearm receives our signature attention to detail, met with unique insight gathered through more than 50 years experience as gunsmiths. We look forward to assist you in your firearm needs. The way we hunt bush pig is a recipe that has been working for us in more than 10 years now. Year after year, we study the group of bush pig that come to our bait station 
Then we de determine which ball we want to shoot. And then we study his feeding pattern to determine what time he comes in. Hunting bush pig will always have a challenge or two, but that's how we've learned how to study them throughout the years. The main aim this year was to get Beulah her first bush pig ball. And like her, hunt played out, everything went flawless on hunt, and she really got a stunning ball. So after that, we decided to keep the trail cam up and see what other balls might come in. I got all my gear ready and just after five I went to the blind. It's just after five here and I'm about to get into the blind. It's here in the middle of winter now and uh, I packed in my parka jacket because it uh, might get cold. Luckily Villabias keeps us warm <laughs> this time of the year. So guys yeah I'm really excited to get into the blind now. This Primo's blind of ours has worked absolutely awesome. You know it's sealed tight and it's just the perfect size so if you want to shoot with a bow crossbow or rifle it's just perfect so guys i'm really excited about this hunt hopefully the pigs will come in early tonight and uh, i'll be able to get in a good shot on them let's see what's gonna come to the blind tonight <laughs> just want to show you my setup so i've got the night sight eagle here and it's ready for action it's Beulah's 223 and I've got the two-point gun rest from Primos and like you guys can see the rifle is resting on it I'm not even holding it so the setup works nice when you're sitting in a blind or when you're walking and stalking and you want a more secure platform to shoot from especially in the bush felt you've maybe got a shot that's 150 200 or 250 meters out so definitely a thing I would suggest to look into to buying for your Primos Gen 3 shooting sticks so guys yeah let's see what tonight's gonna bring in, bring in for us hopefully that nice ball that I saw with the saw will come in but maybe there's another ball that might come in so let's see what's gonna come in tonight Just as I was checking the time, I heard a cracking sound that I was eagerly waiting to hear. till just past eight o'clock the boar and the sow came in uh, there was a porcupine before them there like you guys can see uh, my ears are open uh, so I can hear better you know <laughs> uh, I believe it's a very um, nice boar and uh, I can't wait to get my hands on him I always love bush pig hunting it's so rewarding you know this is two months in the preparation. Beulah shot hers three weeks ago and now I got the chance to shoot mine. So I, I can't describe this feeling man. Check, check, check my buck <laughs> So uh, 
like you guys saw the bush pig fell in his tracks um, we just feel it's safe to shoot with a smaller caliber and shoot it in the head it does make lots of damage to your trophy and you don't you don't miss a chance of losing your trophy so let's go look at that that bush pig And here it is, guys. Check out all the fighting he had. It's just always so rewarding going after them. Even if it's not a trophy, it's so rewarding to hunt them. Let me quickly get him out of here and I can show you guys better how he looks. Hunting bush pig is always such a rewarding experience. All the months planning and patience has all boiled down to this specific moment. Now I've got my freezer filled with some delicious meat and I'll definitely take this mount to Mons at Wibbles at Taxidermy to make a splendid bush pig ball mount. Bush pigs, also referred to as the poor man's leopard for most hunters that keeps you on the edge of your seat during most of the hunt. Senses that cannot easily be fooled and the capability with hooves like ninjas to vanish into the bush basically sums up the adrenaline action back hunt. Going into 2021 season with COVID still at large, restrictions, curfews at night time made it very difficult for us to travel to hunting areas that we used to feed to. So we decided to use our farm the only issue we had is around the farm the timber lines were being harvested, leaving a small bush patch where the pigs moved to and from the farm. It made it very, very difficult. So we decided uh, we're going to utilize our old feeding spot that I used last year. After the first week of baiting, nothing happened. Two weeks went by, nothing happened. Got me very worried that all the timber lines and bush area that were removed um, caused the pigs to move off to another area. But luckily after week four, they made their first appearance late night. So then the cat and mouse game started. So I'm getting ready to go sit now. Pigs have been feeding <laughs> on this strip throughout various hours of the night. Not a very fixed pattern. A very difficult pig. I haven't hunted a big pig like this that doesn't form a pattern. So it makes it a bit difficult to plan. Yeah, going to quickly set up everything. Got a night sight ready. I'm gonna sit with the rifle tonight and get the job done. just happened. I shot, finally shot the big that I've been sitting here for many nights. <sighs> I'm so 
so glad. Mm. 20 past 1 in the morning. And it's raining. Cold. Misty. I was lying down inside the blind. And I had the... Couldn't play it out any better. Perseverance is the key. Down. You can hear the other pigs still around here. At the back. It's mis raining at the moment. Awesome experience. Being the males for more than two months, I finally got the overhand and persistence paid off and we got the ball. Thanks to Nightsight and my trusty 250 Savage that dropped the pick in his tracks made tracking for most of us easy, as they would say, but the long drag to the bucky was hard. Bush pick hunting is not for the faint-hearted. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you have to work hard for a specific ball, especially if they are old. And I'm very privileged to be able to hunt in the area that I live in. From the bush to the dining table, I have a very, very big honor to do that. To watch Huntex episodes or to find out more about their sponsors and destinations, visit their website and find them on social media.